Behold, I descend into your midst, O Israel and children of God throughout the earth who look to the Christ as an example, as a way shower, as the Son of God, within whom the light burns brightly, dissolving darkness and raising all in resurrection's fire to glean what is divine, what is holy, what is pure and worthy to be made manifest within each one's life. Live to the glory of the divine one. Blessed ones, I come to initiate spirals of light for Israel and for the entire Middle East, so that every man, woman, and child may understand what is at play in this hour and every hour in order to broadcast that true light of brother sisterhood where all can live in peace, all can live in the integrity and the honor of being a son, a daughter of God, without rancor toward any other, understanding the nature of life etched within the bosom of everyone, of all cultures. And so today I shine forth that light, that divine brilliance of the sun consciousness, the Christos in your midst, so that each one may understand what is truly at play and work assiduously toward this unity field of beingness within the heart, mind, spirit, and soul of every son and daughter. From my etheric retreat over this area, I send rays and currents of sacred fire into the hearts of those who are willing to be touched thereby, to receive impartations of grace, of understanding, of that leavening awareness that raises the soul, engenders divine beauty and harmony, and then allows each one to feel that integrity, that state of being where all are indeed honored, embraced as brother-sister, no longer vilified for another belief system or ism, truly revered as a part of self, a part of God. Your Master Moria has said that the first tenet of all religion should be acceptance of all others. And so it is true, for within the universal great white brotherhood, above and below, this principle applies where everyone is revered as a part of God, and God is seen within every being. When you choose to behold the Christ energy and spirit, the Buddha essence, and an aspect of the Divine Mother within every individual, you are raised into that unity field by that pure vision and by your conscious awareness of that illimitable presence that abides within the heart of everyone. When you choose to resolve within self what has been 
unresolved of your past interactions with others where you have not embraced fully the Christ light within all. Dearest ones, there is an alchemical change, a transformation, and through forgiveness, understanding, and grace, the alchemy of the seventh era begins to glorify God within that new radiance that manifests through that transformation. Yet this must be a conscious application of light within your being, an invocation of what is supreme and divine and holy from above within self to transmute all past errors, all past misgivings, judgments, and human perceptions. And when you accept through a new belief system that is far beyond the human dramas and karmas of all that has transpired of the past that diminishes life itself. You embrace the holy city in your midst. You rise into that higher light field of gold and glory that is the Jerusalem of gold. And, dearest ones, this is what soul by soul, spirit by spirit will bring about a transformational change to manifest Aquarius upon earth and all nations throughout the earth. You have dreamed of this. You have envisioned it. You have manifested in a portion of your consciousness, in your higher mind, in your meditations. And now together, embraced by angels of the sacred fire this day, this energy of God beingness is inculcated deep within the earth, now manifest within Israel and fanning out into all nations of the Middle East. And then throughout all nations, throughout our planet Earth. Many of you have dreamed even of traveling to Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Nazareth, and other places where I walked physically upon the earth to feel the impulses of Akasha that are yet there, where light descended through my being as an exemplar of the Christ awareness to manifest healings and divine teachings and especially the mercy and the grace of the flame of forgiveness and understanding that I brought to bear to transmute the perversion of the Jewish law that had occurred at that time throughout that region and throughout the earth. Well, now, dearest ones, a greater law of beingness is set forth here, there, and everywhere, and it is this. Follow the golden rule to the utmost. Live the life of a Christed one daily and hourly, where there is no longer division, dissension, and deception. For when you see the Christ within everyone and everything, you are raised even as you elevate all in that pure vision state of being. You know these truths because they are self-evident within your heart, within your higher mind, locked within that unity field that resolves all conflict and all that is separating brother from brother, sister from sister within the earth earthy. And heaven, dearest ones, we are all one, embraced by the light, glorified in God's being, accepting of every life form as a part of self, teeming with 
that illimitable light of the eternal presence, the omnipresence of the Holy Spirit. As you consciously utilize all the faculties vouchsafed to you by God as a part of your spirit to, in an emboldened way, shine forth this Aquarian model for a new solar civilization to manifest across the earth. So it is, and so I am there with many other Christed beings within the heaven world to shine forth that glory and to deliver what is essential of the cosmic quintessences of the heaven world into the earth to transform all in this holy presence of beingness. Now I ask you to forgive self fully today. Consider your life and all lifetimes that you have lived upon earth and release into my heart and the violet fire that I now generate in a cosmic action to let go of all that you have done that is ignoble or less than what a Christed one would manifest. See the transmutation of the burdens that you have carried of your previous karmic outplayings of dramas within your lifetimes, and especially this one, that you no longer desire to have within your memory body or vibrating within Akasha. See them dissolve, transmuted, and consumed now, and embrace the cosmic light of your divine presence. And likewise now, forgive everyone across the earth in all ages of what they have done in spite to hurt you, to revile you, to limit you, to abuse you in any way. Let go of the karmic scars and the records of their ignoble deeds toward you and others. As you forgive them and see the violet light teeming with a new radiance to dissolve, transmute, and consume all karmic records now, embrace the God light of the I am that I am within you. Embrace your true self above and beyond dualistic living and all that limits you in this realm. Feel the freedom of being relieved of the pressures of these karmic records within your electronic belt and your memory body. Feel the uplift and the divine support of angels of forgiveness, mercy, and grace embracing you, washing you clean, and dissolving at every level of awareness what you have heretofore not fully let go of that is less than perfection. I adjure you, dearest ones, to enter into this alchemy with joy, with a sense of inner peace, and of acceptance of this grace today, for you deserve to be refreshed in this way. You deserve to be re-embraced by angels and kin of the heaven world and to know your true source of light and life and love and eternal joy. You deserve to live free and unencumbered by all that is past which is now prologue. And as you embrace this new wave and these currents of light, I am there 
and I will continue to fan with the flames of the Holy Spirit this mercy, joy, light in your midst until you truly are free and you have let go of everything that limits you in any way. You see, dearest ones, it is your own consciousness, your own self-perception and the perception of others that you hold within your heart and mind that depletes you of the energy required for your ascension a little more each day. Well, no more depleting energies a limitation, an agony, no more binding matrices of imperfection to chain you to yesteryear and what has occurred that you rue with sorrow. I am the joy of the new era. I am the happiness of the new Jerusalem. I am the light of God that always prevails through thick and thin to raise and elevate every soul into the holiness of the new and holy city of light in your midst. And through the resurrection current now that I see manifesting within and around each of you, the fires of the Holy Spirit wash you clean, burn through and consume layers and layers and onion skin layers of mortality, of death and hell, of the vileness of the not-self and the ignominy of the dweller on the threshold. It has no more power over you, blessed ones. You are free to perceive and believe in yourself as a son, a daughter of God. Do you believe and accept this now fully? Yes. yes. Do you feel the integrity and the raising energies of the Spirit moving through your auric field and your entire consciousness? Yes. Will you accept these currents daily in order to live free in the light from this day forward? Yes. And will you also accept these currents on behalf of all life streams upon earth, even those whom heretofore you have seen as less than God, men, or women. Yes. Then the alchemy will ensue day after day, and the joy of the Lord and the grace of God will continue to embrace you, remold you, refashion you in a glorious new image that is your true image of light and beingness within the one. And I, Jesus, may still come again and again when at times you may dip back into mortality through non-acceptance of this new state of being to remind you and to rekindle within you those glorious energies of spirit. Will you give me permission to come again, dearest ones, when you require my energy, my love, my beingness on your behalf? Yes. Then let it be so. And let us now have the sharing of the heart friends who represent the land upon which I walked holily to carve out a new pathway of compassion, of forgiveness, and of love for thousands and eventually millions and even billions of souls. In that era and in this era, with my beloved Magda, my apostles, and many hundreds of disciples, you, as an apostle, 
even an initiate, may walk with me, talk with me, rise with me in your meditations to behold within the holy city the glories of God and then consciously work to bring them into manifestation upon earth to fulfill that prayer that I gave long ago, which you have called the Our Father or the Lord's Prayer. Later in this service, I ask that a version of it sung by the Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli be played, and I will then, during that recording, embrace every man, woman, and child upon the earth with my Christ spirit and raise them up out of limitation, even as you have experienced it today, precious ones. I am your Jesus, loving you unto the infinitude of your being in God manifest fully in your ascension and your eternal freedom. And I thank you. <laughs> 